Hi, I'm Sharon Donaldson Wheatley. And I'm Martha Donaldson Wheatley. And, and this, this is, is the story, story of, of our, our first date. date. <laughs> well, we first met doing... Um... Come From Away. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's it. I was the stage manager, the original stage manager of Come From Away at the La Jolla Playhouse. Truth. And um, we did not hit we it off. We met there. We did not hit it off. No, no. we didn't. We didn't. <laughs> and now here we are. <laughs> um, and then, you know, one thing led to another uh, over the full course of time. And um, Basically, Jen Colella. Jen Colella happened, right? Yeah, because you always say she just gets everybody all sexed up. She does. Up. She gets everybody going. She does. She makes you believe anything is possible. After the show closed, actually, I stayed in California because my folks lived up near LA. So they were, so anyway, I had taken, I had decided after La Jolla, I would go to Claremont, is the name of the town, and, um, you know, and move them out of their house, which I did. And then I, I was there for a long time. And then uh, I got the idea to go see Jen Colella in Peter Pan at Sacramento Music Circus, which yeah. isn't called that anymore, it's called something else. But so she called me and she said, hey, do you want to go with me to Sacramento to see Jen Colella? Because I was like, it's in California. How far can it be? So she didn't know that Sacramento was like eight hours away from Los Angeles. Yeah, so I was like, right on. Let's go see her. It's like a <laughs> nine, like, 90 minutes. So, uh, so she came up to visit in Claremont. And it was really kind of like, you know, the empty house. There I was in my, in my parents' mostly empty home. So, so then she texted me. She was like, hey, I'm on my way. And just at that exact moment, my parents come pulling up in front of the house with a woman who's coming to look at some of their furniture to see if they want to take it. And I was like, what's happening? My so I get a text so message that says, red alert. I'm like, red alert, do not come, do not come. Parents walking up front, walk. It was hilarious. I was just like, felt like a high school, you know, here I was in my, in my parents' house where I haven't lived in 25 years, you know. And, and then I'm still behaving like, cheese it. The parents are here, you know. So um, anyway, they finally left, and um, so I pulled up, and yeah. there was a lot of like arranging of where the car would be, and then I got out, <laughs> and this is my I favorite. And Martha, Martha goes, "I think it was this romantic. I think that um, we should just kiss, just get it out of the way." <laughs> and I was like, "Okay." <laughs> And I, it was good. And it was we good. Were it was like, fun. And then we carried on. It was literally like, it was like, all right, all right, that's all done, right." right. Yeah. Check. What now? Um, and so then, we, then, um... then she was like, all right, well, I have a planned activity. So we go out into the backyard, which is, you know, beautifully landscaped California. And I look closer and all of the hedges and stuff. And there's things like a metal Band-Aid box is set up, a can, like a Coke can. What all did you have I've out there? I set up there? some things. <laughs> I found a few uh, old old things to set up cans, mostly cans. There was a there was a metal band aid box, right? For sure, vintage, um, <laughs> vintage that we were gonna shoot with BB guns. Yeah. So anyway, I set up a little shooting range in the backyard. Yeah. And, so um, she's got two BB guns. One's like a pump gun, and one is like some kind of normal gun. And a Daisy and a Crossman. Yes. A daisy and a crossman, so <laughs> sensible. So naturally, I would like the daisy, that's girlier sounding. And I was like, I'm a good shot. <laughs> Bing! And it's like, you know, goes into the pool, I think. <laughs> Probably. So, Martha was like, oh, all right. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> like every, <laughs> it's every single one. And I was like, you can do it, you can do Me, it. Me, competitive, I was like, I can do it. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> I mean, it was just everywhere. You hit one of them, I think. It was very funny because it you started getting like, you just got clearly, like, I'm gonna get, should we got closer? You know, she got like really <laughs> close to them. <laughs> so then what, how do you follow up a BB gun shooting it's range? It's so hard. Tacos. So it was Taco Tuesday. And the thing that I remember the most is that you wanted to hear all about pregnancy, me being pregnant. I have two kids. Mm -hmm. She wanted to hear all about pregnancy and delivering the kids mm -hmm. and what it was like to have a newborn. You had a million questions. Mm -hmm. I found it very surprising that you were mm -hmm. so interested in the kids and mm -hmm. me and all that. You were a really good listener on that day. Well, Libra. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, then later we go back to the house and I love this too. So we're, you know, whatever, fooling around, whatever. And it's pitch black, pitch black. I mean, it was literally like, are you there? Are you there? And so then I said to Martha, I was like, do you have like a 
candle or something? And she was like, oh, candle. That's a great idea. I'm rusty. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't dated anybody in a really long time. I was like, all right, mood, ambiance, candle. I have one right over here. Of course I had them, you know, handy. There had you go. Handy. Yeah, sure. Basically we just laughed. We had fun. It was really, it was really fun. It was really magical to have like that time in my parents' house. It really was. You know, it, it was really was. Just, it was bonkers. And in California, this kind of just this like, you know, very like we a little swimming. bubble it of like really you know fun. yeah. It was really. Uh, I mean, it, it did was, start uh, with a red alert, but it ended on a with a with, on a really good. nice note with like yeah. childbirth and a candle.